Hi. If you're a bar owner like me, or serve alcohol like me, or if you're in the business of selling liquor off sale, it's very important to know both North Dakota and Minnesota laws on serving alcohol. So, we would like to take just a moment to talk to you about just that. First of all, as you already know, it's against the law to serve or sell alcohol to anyone that's under the age of 21. And to serve alcohol in North Dakota, you must be at least 21 years old to pour, mix, or dispense. If you are 18, you can serve alcohol in a restaurant separate from the bar, but only if you are under the direct supervision of someone 21 or older. At 18 years of age in Minnesota, however, you can pour, sell, and serve. And just as important, by law, we are not allowed to serve alcohol to an obviously intoxicated person. Or allow an obviously intoxicated patron to consume alcohol on the premises. Nor are you allowed to sell off-sale liquor to an intoxicated person. And remember, even after you stop serving the intoxicated customer, you're still responsible if you allow a sober person to order drinks when it's reasonable to assume that one of the alcohol drinks will go to an intoxicated person at the table. That's absolutely right and so important to always remember. Even though we're in the business of serving drinks, we are not in the business of getting people drunk. The terrible impact and consequences of drunk driving and underage drinking can be disastrous to the families of our community. Just as the repercussions can be devastating to the persons in business responsible for overserving the intoxicated patron. Under both North Dakota and Minnesota laws, serving or selling alcohol to minors and or an obviously intoxicated person can lead to substantial fines and or jail time. A server can also be found liable in a civil court for any financial damages to be paid to any person who incurs loss or injury by the intoxicated patron you overserved. The business can also face significant fines and suspension of its liquor license. It's not always obvious or easy to know when to cut someone off, particularly for an inexperienced server. After all, we all know that we're working for an establishment that profits from the selling of alcohol. That's why it's important for managers and servers to talk with each other, so they both have an understanding and agreement on how they both will handle the different situations of intoxicated patrons. Servers will then feel empowered to make decisions, knowing their boss and manager will back them up. So, let's talk a bit about best practices for staying within the law. First things first, always check an ID before serving alcohol to anyone. Only accept IDs that are valid by law such as state driver's license or state IDs, which are the only IDs that can be verified by law enforcement. All forms of legally acceptable identification must be issued by a government agency, contain the name of the person, contain a description of the person, have a photo of the person, and be currently valid, not expired. Server should inspect all IDs to make sure they match the person presenting it and that the person is not using someone else's ID. Once you determine that the picture and information on the ID matches the presenter, check to make sure the ID is authentic and has not been altered. To spot a fake ID, look for differences in font or security features. We recommend having an ID checking guide near the door so you can make sure an out-of-state ID is the real thing. And the most important rule to remember when checking IDs, if you have any doubts, don't accept the ID. If there's reasonable grounds to believe that an ID has been altered, falsified, or is being used to violate any law, you may confiscate the ID. Once seized, it must be given to a law enforcement agency within 24 hours by Minnesota law and within 48 hours under North Dakota law. There are definite signs to watch for to tell if a person is intoxicated. Look to see if the patron in question is having problems with balance, or shows ineffective muscle coordination, or appears disoriented and confused. Do they smell strongly of alcohol and talk with unusual or disoriented speech? Do they have bloodshot, glassy eyes or a flushed face? Or if they are sleeping or exhibiting unusual obnoxious behavior, such as loud profanity, vomiting, or soiled clothing? Of course, do your best to keep a patron from overdoing it. But if you can't, and you notice they become intoxicated, you will need to intervene. 
and stop serving them alcohol. If possible, pull patron aside to talk privately. Offer non-alcoholic beverage and call a cab or a friend to pick them up. If patron is belligerent, don't touch them or invade their personal space. If possible, get another employee to side with you and act as a witness to help if necessary. I actually have my staff do a little role playing to practice cutting off patrons. It's actually helped a lot. By practicing, we know exactly what to say and do when necessary. And of course, sometimes you can't reason with an obstinate or belligerent drunk and you'll find it necessary to call the police if the customer refuses to leave or becomes threatening. Have someone keep an eye on the intoxicated patron while you make the call. If possible, go to a quiet and private place to place the call. Identify yourself and give the dispatcher the name and address of the establishment where you're working. Tell the dispatcher you would like police assistance because an intoxicated patron is refusing to leave the bar. Tell the dispatcher which door the officer should use when they arrive. If the customer leaves before police arrive, if possible, call the dispatcher back to cancel the officer request. Unless the drunken patron drives away in a vehicle, then report the make, model, color, and license plate to the dispatcher or officer. Well, we hope we've made clear what the laws are for serving alcohol. And given you some valuable tips on how to best follow those laws. And of all of those tips, the most important is to remind all servers and managers to take the time to talk to each other. If a server is uncertain of what they need to do, then what needs to be done may not happen. But if a server knows what to do, then they'll do it. Well, that about covers it. I hope now you have a clear understanding of the laws on serving alcohol. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thanks. This message has been paid for with funding from the North Dakota Department of Human Services.